If we do give them the, the jets that they want, how quickly do you think, Robert, as an expert, what would, difference would that make in the time scale of bringing this to an end, which is what everybody wants? Oh, absolutely. Um, that is what it's all about at the end of the day. Uh, it, look, the, the question of jets is incredibly difficult for, for several reasons. The training of the Ukrainian pilots is happening now in the UK. Uh, we're, we're the only country in the world doing so uh, initially. Now, that's on simulators um, and, uh, and sort of replicated training. That can be replicated into, into real-time aircraft. But the ability to then send, uh, you know, fifth-generation, next-generation fighter aircraft, which is what we're talking about, to Ukraine uh, for the pilots... Um, I don't think it's that realistic to happen from the UK. If anything, it's going to happen from the Eastern European and Northern European countries, like particularly uh, Sweden with their Gripen aircraft. Now, the, the ability to get those into service quite quickly, you're looking at realistically at three to six month time, uh, time frame at least. So we're looking at a second or third tranche for the offensive, so sort of summer into autumn. But crucially, like I keep maintaining, to break uh, hopefully uh, what would be another winter stalemate um, and try to bring this war to a close uh, before that would happen. Um, but I, I, I have to stress, I, I can't see that happening, uh, to be perfectly honest, this year. Um, it has only been one year, uh, and I stress that in, in, in relation to wider conflicts uh, and wars more broadly. One year isn't a long time. Um, so we're looking at at least the rest of this year, try to break the stalemate over next winter. And then really next year, potentially, what we're going to see is the, what I say is the, the vital ground, which is going to be Crimea. It's all going to come down to Crimea and how that gets settled, either militarily or politically. What do you mean? Explain that to us in a little bit more detail. So Russia have maintained from the beginning that Crimea is, is, is Russian territory. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was gifted to Ukraine, if you like, under the Soviet Union in 1957. So for the last 70 odd years, it's been Ukrainian territory. Now, both countries hold Crimea incredibly um, importantly, sort of ideologically and nationally, uh, their national identity. Um, and, you know, you know, obviously Russia uh, invaded it uh, back in 2014. Yeah. So... Uh, it, it will come to head in Crimea. It's the, one of the land bridges with, obviously, with Russia. Uh, there's a lot of Russian uh, military equipment on Crimea. Their Black Fleet is, is based there. Uh, but cri um, the Ukrainian government and Vladimir Zelensky in particular have, have highlighted several times that, um, you know, Crimea remains an absolute intrinsic part of retaking back uh, Ukrainian ground. Mm.